Uh, today, what's going on folks, we are teaching the Scooby-Doo, the Scooby-Doo, and I actually just learned this about two days ago. Um, I tried it two months ago and I couldn't do it for some reason, but then I compared it to a, a, a move that I already knew and it was much easier. So the Scooby-Doo, it's kind of like a top rock, it's kick, top, boom, boom, pop, okay? Again, to the side, boom, top, 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 top. And that's a funky move you can add if you're pointing, if you're wrist rolling, just jump that out. It's cool because you jump forward and then you come back. Uh, to break down this move, uh, if you know how to do this top rock, kick cross step, simple. And if you don't know how to do it, there's a tutorial on my page of how to do it. Alright? That's easy because from here you're just going to the side. With the Scooby Doo, you just turn the other side. Boom! You kick out, you come left and right. The only thing is, uh, when you finish the move, you just gotta keep your legs high. You can't be like this. You just gotta high. Because uh, automatically, when you do this, it has that little funk, that little bounce. So again, kick, kick, tap, tap, tap. And from there, you can wrist roll it, you can slap it, you can do whatever you like. But again, right, kick, come back, you jump out, boom, you kick, left and right, funky. Scooby Doo, six, seven, eight, boom, clap, ta ta ta, boom, clap, ta ta ta. Sean is now going to show you a combo into that move and getting out of it. Woo! Rock moves for days, son. How does it feel, Sean? How does it feel? 